I need somebody to help me preach it. It's plural. You brought the woman. My question is, where's the man? I don't know, but sanctified imagination kicks in. He was probably in the midst of the crowd getting ready to throw a stone. And some of us in here ready to throw stones at other people, but the truth be told, they didn't do dirt by themselves. You were their co defendant And how is it? We want to condemn somebody that we were just doing dirt with. The Bible says, I gotta go. The Bible says that 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 they start dropping stones, leaving uh -huh. until the only person left was the woman yeah. and Jesus. <laughs> now, now watch this. Jesus looks at her, and I like this because he clears her and then he commands her. This is what he says. He says, woman, where are your accusers? He, he's asking sarcastically, <laughs> rhetorically. Uh, where is the prosecutor? Where is the evidence? Where are those who have brought you in the Lord's house? kill you. Yeah. The lady said, uh, I don't see them. Where are your condemners? She said, uh, I don't see them. Uh, okay. And since they can't condemn you, you're going to miss a shout cue. Neither do I condemn you. Now, now, now wait a minute. Here's what you miss. We may have been convicted, but we didn't get condemned. There's a difference be between being convicted and being condemned. Convicted means that they said I was guilty, but condemnation means the judge didn't pronounce sentence. I need somebody to talk back to me that every day we wake up we stand before the judge and even though we were wrapped in sin the evidence is on our hands we got a judge that says he's not guilty come here Paul, Paul said in Romans chapter 8 verse 1 there is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus and I need somebody here on this Sunday afternoon who can thank God that even though I got a blood on my hand God said I'm not guilty he says go here's the command go, I, I'm done go, you're missing it, go Go. I got to stop right there. Rub it in like Bengay. Because that word go doesn't just literally mean to get out of here. What it means, watch this. It mean, from, from the Greek, it is for real. It means to start on a journey. Watch this. He says go and sin no more. Wait a minute. He didn't just say stop sinning. <laughs> He said, go and sin no more. Why is that so important? Y'all asking you know, all the right questions. Because he knows about the woman. Yeah. And he knows she's not going to stop immediately and instantaneously. Right. Why y'all sitting here looking at me funny? God didn't deliver us from some stuff. But it didn't happen overnight. Oh, look at what they saying nothing to me. Because if the truth be told, yeah, you done stopped smoking cigarettes, but you didn't quit overnight. Yeah, you done stopped cussing, but you ain't cussing like you used to cuss. It is a journey. And every day you wake up, it's a journey. Don't get tired of your journey. The stuff you did in 74, you should be over that in 2018. I wish I had somebody here. As a matter of fact, your testimony ought to be things I used to do. Uh-uh, flip it, I don't do it as much because I still got the box cutter. I still know where to get the cool filter kings. 
I still know where to get to Zephyrdale, but because God's been working on me, I'm better on my journey. Is there anybody here that knows that God is still working on you? Is there anybody here who can testify? God ain't through with me yet. I know that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. But thank you, Lord Jesus. I ain't where I used to be. Have I got a witness in here? Is there anybody who can testify? If you knew me 10 years ago, if you knew me 15 years ago, you wouldn't believe I was in the Lord's house on a Sunday afternoon. But look at me now. He picked me up, turned me around, put running in my feet, clapping in my hands, joy in my spirit. And I know you're looking at me funny, but oh, what a change in my life has been wrong since Jesus came into my heart. Floods of joy, oh my soul. Like a sea below. Is there anybody in the Lord's house? Can you give them glory for your change? A wonderful change has come over me. I looked at my hands and my hands were near. I looked at my feet and they did too. I started to walk, had a new heart. I started to talk, had a new talk. And if somebody looking at you funny, look back at me and say, you don't know, like I know, what the Lord has done for me. What did it do for you, preacher? He saved me, he saved me, he saved me. What did it do for you, preacher? On a hill. Call Calvary, Jesus paid my price. He died, didn't he die? But Friday, Sunday morning, ain't it all right? Ain't it all right? Lift up your hands, throw your head back, tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Say it. Yes. 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 I got to leave you alone. Thank you all for coming here. But do me one last favor. If you're not too mean to do it, grab your neighbor. Pull them close to you. We're like somebody got the Holy Ghost. Look them in the eye and say, neighbor, the reason why I praise him so much, the reason why I thank him so much, I could have been dead and gone. I could have been dead and gone. But the Lord, he saved me. The Lord made a way for me. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! I may not have a million dollars. I may not live in a brand new mansion. But one thing you can't take away from me, I'm saved by his power divine. So to me I sublime. Life is sweet and my joy is complete. For I'm saved. Yeah. 
it doesn't matter what you've been doing if any man be in Christ he's a new creature all things are passed away behold all things become brand new some people make you feel like because you saved you got to be perfect no 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 because you're saved don't miss it you're being perfected what what what, what does that mean that means the way you were as a baby you're not like that as an adult and i'm talking to somebody in here if they knew your real testimony what god really saved you from see see y'all y'all being too cute on a sunday afternoon because you act like you okay i hear you lord because some of us got saved watch this in church you missing what I'm saying? Some of us were going to church and still wasn't saved. But while we were playing church, the Lord picked us up, turned us around, and now we can tell somebody if He did it for me, He'll do it for you. So when you see people who are trying to serve God, who don't act like you, who don't dress like you, who don't talk like you, just remember, you ain't always been where you are right now. But the Lord had to change you. And he says to your haters and he says to you, those of you who are without sin, cast the first stone. Since ain't none of us perfect, all of us should drop our stones and tell, like that woman who got freed, go and sin no more. There may be somebody here today. You've been convicted of your sin. You know that you're a sinner. You know that you and God got some things you got to work out. Can I tell you something? If you're alive, he still wants to work on you. I want to invite you to come to Jesus today. If you're in this place, if you don't have Jesus as your savior, I want you to come. Get to know him today. Number two, if you're saved but you need a church home, we invite you to come right now. You can come by call a letter Christian experience candidate for baptism. Is that one today who will say, I want to give my life to Jesus or I want to become a part of this church. Whatever your plea is, if you need to come be restored, we welcome you just as you are. Stop hiding.